Hello. This is Krista again with Addiction Recovery Part 13 with Universal Laws. Um, to make sense out of this world we live in, we have developed beliefs and behaviors that help us attain control over situations, ourselves, and others. Usually at an even unconscious level where we used control dramas and force to gain the false control that we needed. This was just our basic survival instincts that brought this need forth, basically forming our false self personality that shielded us in kind of a protective way that formed around our inner selves. Required first was survival mode that we ascertained things first like food, water, shelter, and warmth. These are all survival skills. Up until now, the world has worked very hard to make it easy enough to survive on a simpler level if we look at how far we've come with new modern day technology and systems of workings. With just a flip of the switch, a dishwasher will take a lot of time off our hands and leave us left with a lot more time on our hands to do other things. Which leads to more time to really begin to question our own inner and outer realities as to who we are and how did we get here. When we begin to understand these perceptions, beginning with who we are and understanding things like the ego, are we just beginning to learn the vastness of ourselves and the universal principles and forces behind it. When we begin to understand the egoic personality, we find that we have organized and conducted a pretty much black and white thinking so far. Can we begin to understand the attitudes that have laid the groundwork for the consistent behaviors and habits we have formed to further delude ourselves? In unhappier states of being. In other words, a lot of stuff our brain has collected has become kind of a hassle and a mess. Because our egoic personality has fooled us into believing that we can't let go of any of it. Because we have never learned uh, to let this negative, a lot of time, negative energy, a lot of times even a lifetime of traumas uh, go further creating a darker cluster of energy that can form into sickness plus poor diets, of course later in life and also major stress and depression and sometimes lots of survival mode offsets like where a kind constant fight or flight mode cannot be removed in more severe cases causing even more extreme cases like cluster b disorders uh people ex example narcissistic personality disorder or um bipolar or sociopathy Anyway, unhappiness is not our natural state of being. Only the inner self knows instinctively the route to happiness and is constantly trying to reach this point. Excuse me, that was my cat moved my phone. <laughs> no matter what, when we are sad, we medi immediately will look for a way to feel better. The reason we cannot get to that point is because of the false beliefs we have attained in this world. We have learned many wrong things. We get stuck in believing things like <clears throat> having more money or material things um, and getting gaining more and more pleasures and using controlling methods to gain more power from others. Uh, we'll create that unhappiness we... Er, uh, will create that happiness that we so desire. I hope this is making sense. And <laughs> my sentences are running, aren't running on and on. Uh, we have become very confused because we ourselves have become a part of that unhappiness. Unfortunately, your egoic self does not let you see the truth, nor will it help you gain it. When left to its own measures, it will self-destruct. That is when the inner self comes into play. Some are more aware of it than others. 
Um, we can only quit blaming ourselves, others and ourselves that things are not fair, not right or unjust when we can begin to face ourselves and see this unquestionable true inner identity. To get in touch with this part of ourselves, we must start by reflecting on ourselves. Thank you. Have a beautiful day.